Hello everybody, how are we today? Thanks for joining me today. I'm Lori from Art Lore and it is a rainy day in Michigan. What's new? So what better thing to do than to paint? So today we're doing a 15 by 30 um, gallery wrap from Michaels. And um, I love this size canvas. For a while, the 18 by 24s were my favorite. Um, now I've switched to this as my favorite, the, eight, um, the 15 by 30s. And um, unfortunately, I have a gazillion 18 by 24s, so I'm going to have to, um, I'm going to have to, you know, eventually cave in and get those back out again. But for now, I'm on the 15 by 30 kick, and I just love them. They can uh, carry off three blooms quite well down the center. They can do five very well. Um, so, but today my goal is to do three and then I want it to be a spinning deconstructed bloom. So, uh, I want everything off the sides. I don't want any negative space. If I do, I want just very little. I don't want negative space in between where the blooms stack up. Uh, I, I don't mind the negative space on the sides, but I don't want anything coming down the center. So that's going to be a challenge for me to make sure that the petals um, uh, marry together somehow without creating a line. So I'm working on that. And then also today I need to work on, um, I've been kind of laxed on my blow drying lately, or the blowing lately. I always say blow dry because I was a hairdresser. Uh, blowing lately because I see the cells. I'm like geeked that I have all these cells, but I don't go in and take those cells and blow them across the canvas. I leave them there and then the petal has nothing. It has no interest. So I'm going to work on that today also. So let's get you down to the canvas. I've got my uh, pillow down already, which is the Multi Pro PPG four seven three one one zero and it's the eggshell and that is my ultimate favorite i hope and pray to the painting gods that they don't discontinue this one uh, absolutely love it so we're going to make a mess and i'm going to show you my colors and then we're going to have some fun with some blooms so let's get right down to the canvas um okay let me have to move you a little bit there we go. I think that's pretty good. Maybe I'll just move you over just a scant more. There we go. Okay. And, um, well, first of all, this is just the Artist Loft uh, light blue. Nothing um, in it other than the light blue. It's straight out of the tube. Beautiful, beautiful blue. I just, I was really in the mood for this kind of a blue. Um, I based everything around a new color that I got in the mail. Starts with a T and ends with an LP. This one here is one of my custom colors. I started out with uh, primary red and primary yellow, and I did mostly yellow with the primary red, and then I added just a dot of the phthalo cyanine blue to get this greeny, uh, color. I don't even know what color you would call this. All I know is that it's a green and it's a color that I love. So, and this one here is a conglomeration of so much. It's red ochre. It's burnt sienna. It's Van Dyke brown. It is uh, burnt sienna. Oh, and you want to know something? I had two burnt siennas because and they're both from Licotex, and they were both different colors. One was a much lighter burnt sienna than the other one. So I added a little bit of each of that. Oh, and red um, red ochre, and I came up with that. So I don't know. It, it's just pretty. It's just a pretty color. I kind of, you know, thought that these two would just be really pretty together. And then if I can grab it correctly without spilling, because I'm really good at that. I thought these would be a real cool pair together. But the fun part of all of this is my TLP, which is the caramel drizzle or caramel drizzle. And so I based everything around this. So I'm hoping 
that this will pair quite nicely with everything else that I've chosen. So there you have it. So let's get down to business. All right, we're going to start with the red ochre multicolored whatever. I don't know what to even call it. We're going to go right here. Not dead center, but center enough. And then I'm going to drizzle this on there, quite a bit of it, just for fun, because I don't even know what it's going to do. I've not used it yet. Here's my light blue. Made all the colors up this morning. And oops, there we go again, putting other colors mixed with other colors. And hoping that the uh, consistency is okay. Here's my yummy green. And last but not least, this lovely Aussie Floetrol with the Oxide Black from Amsterdam. And I used three and a half to one. And there you go. So let's see how I do. shoot that really low. better from what I've been pra uh, practicing in my head. Um, see, I like how the, the cells are working. It's lacing out that way as opposed to all of this stuff. I think this is okay, but um, I'd like to see more of the cell action split up and get some more color going on in there. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I might scrape that one. I don't know. I'm not seeing much blue, that's for sure. I'm definitely seeing this color. All right, let's just give this a shot here. Um, should we mix it up maybe and do the blue first? Let's try that because this is an opaque and I'd like to see some blue shining through there. So let's try that, and then I'm going to just drizzle some of this on there. That way then the glue might come through better. The caramel is coming through very nicely, very pretty. And then here's my green. Okay. All right, 
Let's give it a shot here. I feel like I've lost my, my skill. better and I'm seeing the blue now now that I switched over so let's do the blue here again and we're only going to do like a half bloom because we're going to lose it anyway so it doesn't matter that way then at least we'll just have a petal or two we'll do that and then I think it was this color next and we just drizzle a little bit Okay, lots of green going on though, that's for sure. Let me get rid of that. Oops. Okay. All right, here we go. Okay, it's not bad. It's not, it's better than what I've been doing. Um, I've been scraping a lot lately, so I don't know if what's going on with me, but um, I don't know. I just feel like I'm off my game. Of negative space going there, but I think that will be okay. Okay, so what I want to do is boy, I'll tell you one thing though that uh, caramel, the caramel, what's it called? Caramel drizzle. I'm looking at it close up, and when we come back, I need to show you some of the cells. Um, that caramel drizzle is like there's the green and then the caramel around it. it is and that caramel is through here and there and it is absolutely beautiful I mean I've said this before but the TLPs they're like voodoo magic they are just incredible how they I don't know they just do this really cool stuff so um, I want these centers to just come up a little bit more before I start spinning. So I'm going to pause and I'll fill in all through here, make sure everything is going to go over the sides. 
and we'll be right back. See you in a minute. Okay, we're back. And there are the cells. Pretty cool, huh? You can see that caramel drizzle. That is so awesome. And then, oops, shadow, sorry. And then up there, that's pretty cool. And then check out up there how that caramel drizzle engulfed the other, the green and with the blue. Yeah, I think it turned out pretty cool. I'm still not exactly thrilled with how I did the dryer, blew it all out, but we'll spin and see what happens. And uh, hopefully we'll get a good composition. So let me pop you back in. Sorry for the glare and the blurriness. Um, there you are. Okay, so here we go. Now let me grab my board to cover up my paints. I don't want paint in them. Okay, we're good. All right, let's do this. Um, I think I want to take it this way first. Let's well, let me just do a real small one here just to make sure I'm not going to hit anything. Okay, here we go. That's a little fast. Yeah, that's better. Maybe I could go a little faster than that, but. Um, yes, I want that to come off a little bit, just a little bit off the edge to match everything else. And it is coming. I'd like to get rid of this if I could. So we're gonna keep spinning to get rid of some of that. That's where I went into the pillow. Oh, I don't know what's going on, but I definitely am um, having some issues. I'm just going to make sure, yep, that one needs to be covered. as well as this one. So let's grab some paint here. That resembles that corner a little bit. Even though it's not all white, that's okay. It'll probably come off anyway, so that's good. Um, the rest, I'm going to have to dip into my can and get some more white out. There we go. Got to do it now. This paint starts to dry and it doesn't like to move. Okay, let's just check this other side and see. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm so sorry, but I really want to do this now. So if it bores you, just fast forward me. I just want to get this edge so that starts falling off. There. And right there. Okay. All 
All right, let's spin again. I think the colors are pretty. I'm seeing a little more blue than I had originally thought I would see, because that it, it was good to switch that up. Okay, this is coming over to the side much better. Um, I'm actually liking the end result way better than the other, I don't know, five or six that I've done that I've scraped. Um, and I think it's definitely the angle of the dryer. Just gotta get that a little bit more to the edge there. You know, I don't want to lose all my cells, but on the other hand, sometimes you have to break up those cells in order to create interest into the, into the painting, and I was not doing that. It was just boring. Um, but I think this is way better. This is almost to the edge. We are all so close. The green looks really pretty, how it incorporated. Uh, here and there. Love this little bit of blue. It goes well with the blue here. Yeah, these colors look pretty good together. I'm glad this is gone, but what's left, I don't mind. Um, I actually like this. I'm hoping that that doesn't disappear too much. Um, yeah. Oh, wait, let me check this side here and see how we're doing. Yeah, actually that fills in pretty nicely on the edge there. Okay, so let's just do a little baby spin just to kind of get this just a little bit more. Um, do I wanna do that? I don't know, it's pretty cool right the way it is. Let me check this on and just see how much paint I still have left on the canvas. Ooh, not bad. There's a little bit more there. So maybe just a baby spin. Whoa, dizzy. I gotta stop doing that. I follow one spot that I want to come off. It was this right here. I kept following that and it was like, okay, you're dizzy. Um, look, yes, it came off. It's up to the edge, and that's right where I'm leaving it, and I'm done spinning. Um, there's some canvas showing there, so let's grab some color and fill that in. There we go. Um, actually, that needs to be filled in too. There, that's way better. Glad I caught that. Yeah, I really, really like these colors and that caramel drizzle is yum delicious. I'm having fun learning how to use these and incorporate them in the color palettes. Yes, very, very happy with this one. There is the composition that I think it should be right there. I've got just enough negative space, just a little tiny bit. The petals incorporated quite well with each other. This one here did really well. Um, you can still see this petal, this bloom, and yet you can still see this bloom. I should have blown in here a little bit more to get rid of that line, but it's okay. I'm not going to disrupt it because I love what's going on here. And if I go in, I know what I'm going to do. I will goof it up. And because I've been having such horrible um, not so wonderful blooms lately. Um, because I like this, I'm going to leave it because, um, I've had way too many that just have not 
and that looked very good so um, so yeah this one's a winner winner chicken dinner for me so let me just quickly do this and then I will take you down to the canvas and show you the close-up all right Yeah, that turned out really pretty. Okay, here we go. This right here was what I was trying to save. And I did it. Can you see that shimmer of that caramel drizzle right down there in the corner? Look at that shimmer. That's really pretty. And this is what I've been trying, this is what I'm going for. That's what I want, and I was not getting it. So breaking up the uh, cells helps to do that. And the angle of the dryer. This turned out great. Lovely bloom, here's the center bloom. Explosion of cells. I could have broken those up a little bit more, but I'll work on that the next one I do. And then there's the top one. I can't lean too far, sorry. Um, but that looks really pretty up there. Yep, very, very happy with it. This is really pretty over here too. So there you have it. Thank you so much for letting me come into your home today. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please like and subscribe, and leave me a comment. That would be awesome. Really appreciate all of you so much, and until next time, bye.